Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tom and this series is going to teach you not how to make a Hacks Flixel game, but how to make an Android game, how to include the Google Play achievements or leaderboards and advertisements on your game and basically everything you need to know how to do it. Um, so obviously you want to start with uh, getting Hacks Flixel. If you haven't already, just click the Get Started button, follow all the instructions. I'm not going to tell you how to do this because it's been done so many times before, probably, and they're pretty straightforward anyway, so you just click the first link, install, blah 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 blah, click all of that, and then go to the next step, go to the next step, blah blah blah, and then what you want to do from there is uh, set up Android, um, then you want to install the Android SDK, Android NDK, Apache Ant, and the Java JDK. Um, once you've done all of those, you can do Lime Setup Android in your command prompt window, or if you're running Linux or Mac, your terminal, and that's pretty much that. If you have any problems, please do contact me, and then I will make a video explaining how to go through it step by step, but it should be straightforward. Uh, so once you've done that, go to install hacks Flixel, and then just follow the commands. That's it. That's literally it. Obviously, on the uh, once you've installed OpenFL, you also probably want to do set up Windows, just so that you can test it before you put it on y your phone, if that makes sense. Just so you don't have to wait for it to compile and then copy it to your phone, etc., etc. So all of that is pretty simple. Okay, so once you've got all of that installed, you can type in hackslib, you get this command here, you can also type in hackslib list to get a list of packages you currently have installed, and obviously if you're making an Android game with achievements, leaderboards, adverts, etc, etc, um, you want three packages, but before we do that, we have to install git. If you don't already have git, what you can do is go to git-scm.com slash downloads, link will be in the description, and just install it for whichever operating system you have, so I'll choose Windows. During the install, what I assume you want to do is use git from the Windows command prompt, because then you can, um, because then obviously you can run the git command from Hackslib. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what you want to do. Okay, so once you have that done, the first package is called Hyperplay Services by Hyperfiction on GitHub. Um, so what you want to do is go back to your command window, type in Hackslib, git, then the name, which you can call anything you like, I'll call mine hype g play, because I know it's for Google Play services. And then what you do is paste the link to the GitHub page, I'm not sure if you need the HTTPS, I'm not sure if it's just HTTP, but I'll try without. And as you can see, it's installing hype play services for me, and we just do that for the next two as well. Sorry if I sound like I'm ill, by the way, um, because I kind of am. The next one you want to install is AdMob. This is if you want adverts in your game. So just do exactly the same. Hackslib git, I'll call mine just AdMob. And then paste the link again. And it will install it. Done. The final one, I'm not entirely sure if you definitely need this. But when I first started making one of my games, it wouldn't work without it. So it's called In The Box Macros. It's just for some things that don't really matter too much. It just works if you have it installed. Um, I'll call mine In The Box Macros. And that will install as well. So that's, that's the setup side done. Almost. Now, for creating a project, um, what I tend to do is I would obviously do it the normal way by doing Flixel, TPL, and then the name. I'll just call it Android Tutorial, or just Tut, Tut. Um, and then for the width. Now, if you want it to be portrait, obviously you want the width to be smaller than the height. But if you want it to be landscape, you obviously want the width to be it's, it's just, it's general sense, you know, you know that. Um, but in terms of making Android games, you obviously want to support um, up to like thousands of devices. 
because if you go on to if you have a Google Play developer account um, and you upload an APK, it tells you how many different devices it's compatible on. And obviously, you want that to be as many as possible. Um, it doesn't matter too much, but generally, I like to make the resolution as small as it can be so that it scales up. If that makes sense, because if you have an app that's like say 720p, so if I did um, 1280 and then the height was 720, and then you have a phone which only has a resolution of like 480 by 320, which is what I'm going to use, um, then it has to scale it down, and scaling down um, reduces the performance by a lot compared to scaling up. So say if you had Say if you made it 480 by uh, 320, like I'll do here. Say if you did that, and it scaled up, it would run much faster than if you had to scale it down. That's just some general advice. You don't have to follow it, obviously, but it's complete up to you. That's what I will do. So it's created the template project, and now you can just open it. Keep in mind that I don't generally use flash develop i generally use sublime text so it should all be set up for me though uh, okay right that doesn't matter okay so once you're in flash develop you've obviously got all your assets and your source folders etc etc and so in your project what you want to do is before you have hackslib name flixall you want hackslib name open oops open fl I'm not sure if that's required, but that's what I found to work last time I tried. Um, after Flixel, you'll want you'll want Hackslib name, and then whatever you called um, your advert package. I just called my ad mob. That's assuming you want adverts in your game. The next one would be Hackslib name hype G play. Um, if you want leaderboards and achievements, and finally you want the in-the-box macros package. Also for these, you want to only include them if they're on Android, so you'll need the if equals Android. So I'll also copy and paste that for those. Just so that if you happen to release it on Flash as well as Android, it won't load those packages for Flash and you won't get any errors. Now obviously if you want the other packages, you can feel free to uh, have them. I'll just do it just in case. I'm not sure why. Um, so that's that for the packages. Or libraries, sorry. Libraries. They're called libraries. Next we want to go right down to the bottom. And at the bottom we want to include a template with a path of libs android manifest dot xml um, we'll also rename that to android manifest dot xml if we're running android right what this does hold on can i zoom in it probably would help what this does is basically um includes the name of the package any permissions that the app needs so say you'll need internet access if you want to include all of these things um, you can also um, change the app version and the app number and the package name everything like that basically also at the top you've got your app title your file main blah 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 blah, blah. you want to change the company if you need to, so I'd call mine Tombo Fry, and then finally you want to put a package on the end. Um, you can call that whatever you want, as long as it has three sections. So if I type in com dot Tombo Fry, so that would be my domain, as it were. Even though I don't have Tombo Fry dot com, I have Tombo Fry dot uk. It's the same thing, and then basically like a unique like string for your game. So I call this like android toot or something so if i made another app i could not i could not call it com.tombofry.android toot and the the three sections is required for android you don't need it for any other platform as far as i'm aware okay so after that you'll want a java tag with a path of libs 
Google Play services.jar if we're on Android, obviously. So basically all of these tags need if Android at the end. Um, basically this just includes the packages for, guess what, Google Play services. Um, next you'll need template path um, source org hacks lime game activity dot java so not jar java um, we're going to rename that basically the same just change source to src and obviously put the if android tag oops android tag at the end i'm not entirely sure what that's for but it doesn't work without it so those are the things that you'll need to get everything set up. Finally, once you've done all of that, you want to set an environment um, variable called Google Play ID. Um, the value, we will get that from our Google Play developer uh, console later on. And obviously you want the if Android tag. This is so that um, Obviously your game has a specific ID, so that it can connect to that specific game. Um, so that's that for your project.xml. Thank you for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial I will get into um, actually typing the code for the specific libraries that we've included. So we can set up ads and we can start to log in to our Google Play Games service thing. And yeah. So that's that's it. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if this helped you so far and I will see you in the next episode. Episode. Yeah. Bye.